Talking a uh, little entertainment, a lot of entertainment, and some controversy, but uh, some sad news for music fans. Yes. And Rascal Flatts' final tour. After 20 years together, they're going to wrap things up. Uh, they said this is going to be their final tour. They put out a statement that says, When we started out 20 years ago, we could not imagine all the people, places, and gifts we would encounter. The greatest feeling ever is being told that our music has been the soundtrack to their lives. So make so, sure you go see them when they're back here. It might yeah. be the last time unless they do another reunion tour. Yeah, they're back here in Toronto on September the 3rd. Okay. They're the most awarded country group over the past decade. 40 trophies from the CMAs, the American Music Awards, all kinds. So, uh... Uh, we missed 2.2 billion times their songs have been streamed. Yeah, they're, they're amazing. Yep. So many fans. And um, I love it from that movie. Batman movie update, friends. The Here Penguin has been cast. I don't know about this choice. Colin Farrell playing the Penguin? How about an Irish Penguin? Uh, you can play an Irish <laughs> Penguin. What do you think about that, Snake? First of all, Danny <laughs> DeVito. <laughs> what was that Farrell. Irish? What Hold was on. that? No, <laughs> meh, meh. It's my Danny DeVito. You're going to do uh, James Cagney. <laughs> I don't know what that was. <laughs> That's why I'm not being cast as Penguin. Here's what I'm thinking. All right, let's do it. Danny DeVito brought so much. Like, you could cast him right now, and he'll be just as brilliant He'd today. Be, yeah, we love there Danny we go. DeVito. Look at that. How do you top Danny DeVito? But I said the same when Jack Nicholson played the Joker. They brought, like, the colorful, mm -hmm. right, the fun. Now, are they going to bring the darker, sinister side to the Penguin, a la Heath Ledger and Joaquin that, Phoenix? See, that's what I think. I think he's going for the role. Yes. You know, like Joaquin Phoenix is being acknowledged now for the Joker. He won, uh, yes. he won the Golden Globe on uh, Sunday. And, of course, Heath Ledger, they, a, a great performance as a Joker. And I think that's what he wants to do. He wants to take it dark, dark, dark and make it the role. Yes. You know? Also, when you transform yourself for somebody who's known for being such a pretty boy, yep. sometimes you also get the awards ceremony's attention. So if this movie is amazing, he knows by d transforming himself as the Penguin and playing a darker role, this might garner him some awards or and, at least nominations and it's an interesting combination because you've got uh, robert pattinson and i was looking at him he doesn't look like a batman at all and uh, as well as zoe kravitz as catwoman so yeah. this is one of those where you're like interesting choices where are they going with this movie it's either going to be amazing or maybe not, not properly not cast. so amazing yeah yeah well maybe he wants to take some chances and if the director has some vision and the producers on where they want to go with this mm -hmm. maybe they will take it in a new direction because maybe they feel it needs to be reinvented well, look at the Joker. What Heath Ledger brought to it was incredible. Yeah. And he was honored after his death for that role. And, it, and I then, loved him as the Joker. I, I'm still torn on, on the new one, Joaquin Phoenix. Him versus Joaquin. I still yeah. have to see the new one, but everybody here was just trying to They're all in. saying they love it. They're saying it was yeah. on par. Like, what they both brought Joaquin yeah. and Heath to that role was equally compelling, powerful, but dark. I want to watch it again because when I was watching it, all I could see was Taxi Driver and Robert De Niro. So you couldn't get that out of your head? No, I couldn't get past that. I can't lie. I couldn't get past that watching the movie. Okay, that's fair. So I may watch it again and just uh, and see, revisit it. By the way, the Batman is scheduled for release on January, sorry, June 25th, 2021. So but, we'll have to wait a minute. Yeah, and let us know at BT Toronto. What do you think? I mean, is it a good casting call? Mm -hmm. I, I can't see it. I will, I'll be impressed, though, because if he can do the transformation and own it. Colin? Yeah. Well, is he known for his acting chops, really? I'm trying to think. Miami Vice, SWAT. Well, but he maybe. had you know, what, um, he's had some other movies though that I'm drawing maybe a blank on. This will be right the now. one. This will be that the one for him. Defines it. Well, he's done blockbuster kind of movies, right? Yeah. And, and was he Minority Report? He was in something with Tom Cruise. I can't remember the name of that movie now what either. Was he in? I don't know. Okay, let us know at BT Toronto. What do you think? Yeah. Good choice. Good choice. Let us know right now. Uh, we're going to take a quick break. We'll be back with more BT right after this. Say, eh? <laughs> 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 now.